It's an all too familiar situation. A teenager goes to a party and has too much to drink. But for one BC girl, that was just the start of a night that saw her locked up, physically restrained, and now preparing for court. CBC has obtained exclusive videotape of her detention. Kathy Tomlinson has the story. She's 18 and less than five feet tall, lives with her mom on a BC island. Willow Kinlock is now ready to talk about what police did to her when she was just 15. This is how they treat innocent people. <laughs> Here is the surveillance video of Kinlock at the time, held in a padded cell, her feet and hands bound, tethered to the door. The night begins at a teenage bush party. Kinlock gets extremely drunk. Victoria police are called. When she can't say where she lives, they put her in here. By 4 a.m., she calms down and sobers up. Police try to take her home. When her parents' apartment buzzer doesn't work, though, they turn back. At the station, she won't get out of the car, so they pull her out by force. Back in the cell, it gets worse. I was asking her why I was not allowed to go home. The female guard tells her, take off your bra, your shoes. Kinlock kicks one shoe into the corner. The guard grabs her throat. Two male officers rush in, pin her to the floor, handcuff her. A third officer then arrives with what looks like a leash to tie her feet. They drag her by the strap, secure it outside, and close the door. If I would have did those things to my daughter, which I can't imagine any parent would ever do, then sure, throw the, throw the key away. Put me in jail. Four hours later, they untie her and tell her she's being charged with assaulting the jail guard. Her frantic mother is relieved when she finally comes home, then enraged to see the bruises. I wanted to know how they could justify hurting her. She was so little. She was so tiny and... She was such a good girl. The family gets a lawyer and sues. The Crown sees this tape and drops the assault charge. There's lots more here than just what you see on that video. Victoria police defend it all. They say because of Kinlock's earlier behavior, the guard felt threatened. We had been dealing with her for four hours prior to that, where she was combative, she was trying to break out of the cell, she was kicking the cell, she was punching the cell. The lawsuit goes to trial this fall. Victoria police say they will defend themselves vigorously. Kathy Tomlinson, CBC News, Vancouver.